This is the show that goes where you take it. I am your host, Sharp Shot, the Jackie Moon of Radio. I'm in here solo tonight. You know what I'm saying? A little solo. Uh, my man, King Buddha, he couldn't make it tonight. He uh, is feeling a little under the weather. So y'all just got me to deal with tonight, y'all. You know what I mean? I just figured I'd come back. We've been gone for a little while. So I figured I'd come back and, uh, you know, just do a little pre-show before the other major shows and do do our thing, make sure, let y'all know that we back and we're going to keep this thing rolling and keep it going, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to show y'all what we what we all about. Um, <clears throat> got a lot of new members, got a lot of new people that's been tuning into the show, so kind of want to let y'all know what's going on, what Chopping It Up Radio is all about. Make sure y'all tune in in the future um, from here on out. Uh, for all the people that's been in the group participating real heavy, I definitely want to say, you know, thank you, appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all for continuing to, uh, you know, just do what you do. We really appreciate it, man. We definitely appreciate it. For real. Um, it's Libra season, man. It's definitely Libra season. So I want to say happy birthday to all the Libras. Definitely want to say happy birthday to all the Libras. Um, and I also want to give a special, special happy birthday to one of our own, <laughs> my man, King Buddha. Buddha the one. Happy birthday to you, brother. You know what I'm saying? Happy birthday to you. I'm definitely going to do something special for you, um, for your birthday. So, you know, I wish you could be here, but you'll be here next week. Matter of fact, you know what? We may just do a special show in the middle of the week um, and just call it our birthday shenanigans since Buddha couldn't be here. So we probably going to end up doing that. So stay tuned for that, y'all. Definitely stay tuned for that because um, we're going to do something soon about for that. Me and Buddha birthday. Mine is uh 17th, which is Monday. It's a lot of Libras, though, that um got birthdays, man. That's a lot of Libras that got birthdays. Uh, a lot of celebrity Libras, a lot of regular Libras. If you got a birthday, uh, let me know. Let me know what's going on. Let me know your birthday uh, sh- so I can shout you out. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm trying to think of all the Libra birthdays. Happy birthday to my sister, Hanifa. Her birthday was on the 11th. So I want to definitely say happy birthday to you. Um, happy birthday to my brother, Young Mazi, uh, Jabril. I want to say happy birthday to you. His birthday was on the second, so happy birthday to you. Um, definitely miss you, bro. And I'm gonna play some of your music as we roll out. So as we roll out of here, we're gonna go out to some Young Mazi. Um, happy birthday to my nephew Daniel. Uh, he just celebrated his birthday on the tenth. So happy birthday to you, my brother. I'm trying to think any other Libras that I personally, personally know and are close to. It's a lot of people on Facebook. I'd have to literally go through the, um, through the, through the birthday things. Oh, just to let y'all know too, man, if y'all just want to call in, because, you know, I'm taking calls. I am taking calls. Y'all want to join the show since Buddha ain't here. We're going to have somebody, one of y'all, be a special guest of the show. You know, whoever want to call in and, and tune into the show, y'all can. You know what I'm saying? Let me put that call-in number up. The call-in number is 202-240-7453. Again, 202-240-7453. Y'all see the number right there on y'all screen? <laughs> hey, 
Let me tell y'all, man, we we changing the game, right? We are changing the game. We are we are basically we 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 stepping our game up. That's what I want to say. We stepping our game up. So I'm letting y'all know now. We definitely stepping our game up. Um, celebrity birthdays. So let me let me say happy birthday to some, to some of the celebrities. So MC Light's birthday was in October. Her birthday was not too long. I'm gonna look this up real quick. The celebrity birthdays. Uh, MC Light, Lil Wayne. Uh, who the, who else did I see? I seen a bunch of people. Let me look that up. Celebrity birthdays. Birthdays in October. I'm gonna look up the birthdays in October, y'all, and see if we can get some of these um, Libra babies. I'm just gonna do October. The hell with everybody else. <laughs> I'm gonna do October. Um, let me see. Let me see if I can really broaden it a little. Uh, trying to. I'm trying to get to the. I want to do the hip hop celebrity birthdays, but uh, it is what it is. Let's see. See if we get some celebrity birthdays. Oh, Eminem's birthday is in October. So Eminem's birthday, uh, it doesn't tell me the exact date, but Eminem's birthday is in October. Uh, who else? It's a lot of October, bro. Man, Libras are we are strong right now. We are strong, extremely strong right now. Tony Braxton is a Libra. Okay, October seventh. Tony Braxton, happy birthday to you, Tony Braxton. Let's see. Um, so we got a lot of celebrity birthdays in October. Uh, like I said, oh, Drake. Damn, so Drake's birthday is in October, too? I got, hey, I see a picture of Drake. Okay, well, that's what's up. I did not know that. I did not know that. All right. That's what I'm talking about. The October birthdays, man, we deep in this thing, man. We severely deep. Hey, for the birthdays... For the birthdays, let me do this for the birthdays, man. I'm I'm, I'm gonna do something for the birthdays. So we're gonna do this for the birthdays. Let me see if I can do something for the birthdays. Hold up. See if I can do something for my birthday folks. It's for the Libras. Happy birthday to my Libras, y'all.
We gonna let that play in the background a little bit, y'all. It's uh, it's, it's Libra season, baby. Libra season. I keep saying it. I can't say it enough. Libra season. Make sure y'all give me a holler. Give me a shout out, man. Like I said, give me a shout out. 202-240-7453. That is the call in line. So make sure y'all give me a shout out. Let me know what y'all thinking. If y'all, if you're a Libra, uh, it's Libra season. If you're a Libra, call in so I can throw shout you out there. You know what I'm saying? Definitely give you a shout out for your birthday. Happy birthday to all my Libras. We going strong. We gonna do this all month long, man. I just, look, I came back early, so so early in the month. So we gonna do this all month long. I'm just letting y'all know right now. So y'all gonna get tired of the Libra season, but we here and we ain't going nowhere. You hear me? All right. Uh, so yeah, let, let me just say this. Uh, so the show was kind of we we was at a hiatus for a little bit. You know what I'm saying? The show was uh, at a standstill for a minute. We ain't uh, broadcast for a few weeks. Uh, and I, I feel like I owe y'all explanation. So that was due to some, I had some medical issues that I had to take care of. Um, so, you know, I got those taken care of and we back in, in, in the swing of things. So I just definitely wanted to, I felt like I owed y'all that, you know, to let y'all know what's going on. So, you know, uh, yeah, I got a lot of people who get sent out prayers and all that, man. I really appreciate you for your prayers and just everybody looking out for a brother. Um, the, the folks that knew what was going on. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, we back. We ain't going nowhere. Um, I may switch the date. So just to let y'all know, the date of the day of the show may change for a f- few weeks unless it works, if it works better. So I'm looking at either Wednesday or Friday to change the, the date of the show. So we're going to change. So next week we'll probably be on either Wednesday or Friday. Um, but like I told y'all before, it's going to be some a few other shows that's coming also. But uh, Wednesday or Friday will be the new day of the show. I'll let y'all know early. I'll put up a post and let you know this specific day that we'll be um, broadcasting live for a short period of time. It's only going to be a short period of time, about two months maybe, something like that. Unless it works. If that day works better, then we'll keep it there. But if... You know, we feel like we need to go back to Thursdays, then we will. So, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for the for 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 the major stuff. But I do want to get into some news. So let's get into some news real quick, y'all. All right. So, uh, what did I have? It was a couple of things. Oh yeah. So did y'all hear, man? DC in DC, there's no more right turns on red. So you cannot make a right turn on a red light. So if you make a right turn on a red light, no matter, it, 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 no sign. It's probably going to be signs everywhere, but uh, no right turns on red lights. So that that's done. You could make right turns on certain streets. But sh- I'm going to be honest, half of the streets in D.C., you couldn't make a um, right turn on. I mean, you'd see signs. I see signs, no right turn on red on half of the streets. Some of them would have, like, certain times, but majority of them, I ain't even gonna lie, majority of the streets, you couldn't make a right turn anyway, so it ain't gonna really make a huge difference, but, yeah, it's, it's, uh, now all the streets, no right turns, so I don't know how people gonna deal with that, but, I mean, I guess it, it'd make the city a little safer as far as these crazy drivers. Um, we gonna hope that, that it makes a change, so, uh, that actually... Virtually all cases beginning in 2025 uh, is when that's going. All the lights should be changed. Uh, well, actually, no. It's, it's a, a nationwide reversal of laws enacted across the country in the late 1970s. So we'll see how that happens. They they trying to make the streets safer. They call it the Safer Streets Amendment Act of 2022, and that was passed by the District of Columbia Council in early October. So it's a broader bundle of safety innovations. Uh, pretty much to prevent a lot of these accidents and a lot of these pedestrians getting hit. So we're going to see what how that is. I mean, let, y'all let me know, man, what y'all think. What y'all think about that? Um, no no right turns on, no right turn on red. Are y'all with it? Yeah, it don't really matter. You probably don't. I don't really care. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't drive in the city that much anyway, so it don't really matter to me. <laughs> I mean, I try to stay, excuse me, stay out the city as much as I can for real because I, I just, I don't want to deal with the BS. I really don't want to deal with the BS. It's tr- just these, these folks can't drive. I keep it on the buck. Um, that's that's really all the news I got for that right there. But uh, 
It was another article that I was looking. Oh, you know what? Uh, this was this I found kind of crazy. Um, Columbia, Maryland, has been ranked the safest city in the U.S. So Columbia, Maryland, has been named the safest city in America according to new studies released by Walk It Walk It Hub. <laughs> so that's kind of strange, but hey, maybe I need to look at moving to Columbia. I mean, it's the safest city in the country. Wow. I wonder what makes that the safest city in the country. That's kind of, I'm kind of curious about that. Um, and now, have y'all heard of the ESP, well, um, Washington Com- Commanders Dan Snyder claims that he's got a lot of dirt on a, the commissioner, Roger Goodell, as well as a lot of the owners. So they are trying to force uh, Dan Snyder to sell the, uh, the I'm going to call them the skins, try to sell the skins. But, um, He's like, yeah, the, well, the commanders, if, let me be politically correct, the commanders. So if he ha- is forced to sell the commanders, he says he is going to push up a lot of dirt on a lot of, on, on Roger Goodell and also a lot of these uh, owners, these, these uh, NFL team owners. I wonder what kind of dirt he got. I really wonder, like, is it more so, uh, like, it's a, probably a lot of, I'm going to say, a lot of these owners ordering women of the night, <laughs> women of the night, or some gambling shit. I mean, there's going to be some stuff that, honestly, in my opinion, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I ain't surprised at what he may come up with. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's not going to surprise me at all. Because uh, these owners, even, you know, Roger Goodell, he, they all got their hands in some type of dirt. I know they got their hands in some type of dirt, so it ain't really going to make me a difference at all for real like i said i wouldn't be supplied surprise 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 i really wouldn't be surprised um this is something that i didn't that i definitely wanted to share and then i'm gonna go into a couple of other things but uh man congratulations to og flavor flave man flavor flave has been two years sober next week so two years sober next week your boy flave will be two years sober. So I'm not sure what Flavor Flav uh, suffered with as far as his addiction or his drug of choice. But, um, you know, I want to say congratulations to you, man, one day at a time, you know. Say that serenity prayer, brother. You know what I'm saying? Just say that serenity prayer every day. Uh, just take everything one day at a time. You know what I mean? Whatever you're going through, whatever you've been, you know, struggling with, whether it be, um, whether it be alcohol, whether it be drugs, who knows? But, you know, we keep you in our prayers, brother. That's for sure. I definitely keep you in my prayers. Um, real quick, I got to say, y'all got to excuse me. My battery's going low on my computer, so I need to plug that thing up. I'm trying to find the, the, the plug. I ain't going to lie to you. Um, but, yeah, we're we going um, we gonna, we gonna go to we gonna go into some, to some music real quick while I can get that together, and then I'm going to come back through and come with the topic so i did tell y'all that you know i was, I was like i said october 2nd was my brother's birthday that was young mozzie's birthday so i'm gonna go into some um young mozzie real quick let me let me just throw on something from my brother young mozzie uh while i get this together and uh we'll throw up the call in line if y'all want to call in y'all call in uh chat with me chop it up with me uh for the for the rest of the show and then yeah we, we do what we gotta do you know what i mean all right let me do this y'all this Hard to do, my little brother, Young Mozzie, man. Happy birthday to you, brother. Love you and I miss you, man. Real. Giving up is hard to do. When you love someone, giving up. It's hard to do when you really love someone. Hold up. Hold up, I need this shit for the pain. It been my fault, nigga, get hurt so bad. Cause I love too hard. Can't take it no more, swear to God. Baby, this ain't low, it's a monarch. Fell in love with this money. That mean I'ma die about my cat. Real love, real. When I was fucked up, you won there. Since Mucho died, I ain't cut my hair. I do it for him, not myself. Drug 
Fuckin' up a nigga, hell. Fuckin' up a nigga, hell. Perk tens, only thing, hell. People I love went to heaven. I don't wanna go too late, left. I'm living in the sky next door to God. I'm in my feelings, cause I got a big heart. Don't even look at them, cause I'm dying about real. Nigga, your problem's my problem. Little brother, whether you wrong or right, we gon' solve. Ready to die, cause my mind can't take no more loss. And I'ma grind till everybody around me falls. Shut the fuck up, can't learn shit while you talk. And them saying, got nigga looking like zombies. And I ain't beefing for free, gotta be about money. When I die, nigga, put a pint of lean in my cuffs. Pro mill, codeine, double seal, extra clean. Giving up is hard to do. When you Someone. When you love someone, you loyal. I done learned my lesson not to trust no one. Cause I'm tired of paying these lawyers. I just gotta be by myself sometimes. Riding around, rolling up, trying to clear my mind. Seem like everything I love dying. Niggas that I used to love testifying. Trying to sit me down the road for a long time. And they ain't listen to me till my mouth was full of time. The bullshit we left it behind. These bitches, they fucking the even they hung. My pockets, I stuff them with hundreds now. The cat coming fast, ain't no running now. Got birds at my mama house. Fell asleep at the money house. Having dreams about money now. Giving up. It's hard to do. When you really love someone. Oh, we are back. We are back. We are back. And like I said, that was a uh, young Mozzie. Hard to do. Like I said, shout out to my little brother, man. Rest in peace to you, bro. I love and I miss you, man. You know what I'm saying? I uh, wish you was here so we could celebrate, turn up. <laughs> you really turn up. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? We're just going to do this right here. All right, so there was a post that I saw. Hey, and I know uh, my man Dom is in here. Dom, Dom O. What's going on, Damo? I see you in the chat, man. I see you in the chat. So, you know, if you want to call in, call in 202-240-7453. Come on, man. Chop it up with me. You know, help me help me with this show, man. Chop it up. If you got anything to say, man, you know, let us know. Make make sure you wish uh, King Buddha a happy birthday. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, because he, he is, is, is Libra season. So we got to definitely celebrate for all the Libras. And we, like I said, we're going to be doing this all month long. For y'all going to hear me talk Libra, sh- Libra sh- all month long. You hear me? I ain't going to lie to you. I swear I ain't going to lie to you. All right, it is one thing that I saw on the post. So what's one thing? It was a, hold on. It was a, it was a topic that I was on a, on CIU radio that I did want to touch up on. And now ain't none of my uh, posts coming up. All right. Where was it? Oh, wait a second. Oh, now you want. Now this y'all want to play with me, y'all. <laughs> this y'all want to play with me, I swear. All my, uh. Gooks and gadgets and all that is playing around with me. But uh it was a um what was that post that I saw that I wanted to touch up on? Um told y'all we covered back. So I definitely let y'all know that. But um Ah yeah, so this is some this is what I wanted to touch up on. So yeah, what's some things from back in the day that most of us no longer use today? So I'm gonna go through some comments. I'm just gonna read them. I ain't gonna say who who said what, but um, then again, I'll, t- I'll say uh, King Buddha did say uh, Rolodex, which yeah, Rolodex is is gone. Uh, house clock. I still got house clocks. So anybody don't have a house clock? Like I still got a house clock. I definitely still got a house clock. So I don't know where you was going with the house clock thing, but I still got a house clock. Um. Actually, several. I got an alarm clock. Because if I didn't have an alarm clock, I would not wake up in the morning. That would not happen at all. So, yeah, I definitely got an, a, a house clock. Um, let me see what some of the others. It was, um, yeah, MapQuest. MapQuest is one that's gone. If MapQuest was still here, <laughs> if it, we got, I mean, we got the GPS. But I, I swear, I, I, I say I say to this to myself all the time. If... I don't know how I was able to survive without the GPS. Cause, yeah, y'all here, Paulina acting a fool. But I was, I cannot find my way out of a wet paper bag. Like, I literally get lost going around the block. I get lost going around the block. 
So I don't know how I, I don't know how we did it. I know I know a lot of y'all are probably saying I don't know how we did it without a a, a GPS. Like I really don't. It, it, it boggles me how we did it without a GPS. Um, some of the other things that I saw was uh, somebody said the fanny pack, but the fanny packs are still here. So like I literally got I. I ain't gonna call it a fanny pack though. I ain't gonna call it a fanny pack. I call it a a, a waist bag. I have a waist bag, not a fanny pack, a waist bag. <laughs> so that's what I got. Um, what was it? Beepers. Oh, hey, Dom brought Dom uh said beepers. If you, I swear to God, these cell phones, I love them, but I hate them. Like they get on my nerves. If I always say that, I say that all the time. If I could go back to beepers. Man, I would definitely go back to beepers if I could go back to a beeper. I swear. Man, hit me on my box, Joe. Hey, Slim, hit me on my box. <laughs> Y'all remember that? <laughs> hit me on my box, Slim. <laughs> I swear I go back to the beepers. Uh, what was the other one? Um, pay phones. Now, this is one thing that I can't understand that has gone out that you, you do not see any more pay phones around at all. You don't see any pay phones. We're all the pay phones. Like, some everybody don't have cell phones. Well, sh I mean, you should, but some people still don't. Um, and what if your cell phone go dead? You know what I'm saying? If your cell phone go dead, you short. I mean, you gotta ask somebody. Hey, can I can I use your cell phone? How many people willing to let you use their cell phone? Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm sorry, I ain't mean to yawn, but how many people willing to let you use their cell phone? Not a lot. A lot of people are assholes out here, so they only really want you to use their cell phone. <laughs> so. Uh, we still need some some pay phones. I really think they need to uh, bring back. Pay and, and let me ask you, what would y'all bring back? So if you had the option to bring some of these things back, if you had the option to bring things back that are kind of gone, what would you bring back? I definitely bring back beepers. I bring back pay phones. Um, walkie-talkie phones, I don't know. I mean, they got an app for that, honestly. So now, if you want to do the walkie-talkie, walkie -talkie, you got. I say if you got a group of friends or you know some folks that y'all do the same thing or whatever, what have you, then you can always put a, a walkie-talkie app on your phone. So they got that. Um, I'm trying to figure some some of the things that that actually make sense. Um, <laughs> not makes I ain't gonna say it don't make sense, but things that can kind of correlate to the day. Um, IBM computers, yeah, IBM. Yeah, they still make printers and sh stuff like that. Paper food stamps. Somebody said paper food stamps. I ain't gonna throw the person out of paper food stamps. So paper food, huh? I mean, paper food stamps. I don't know if I uh, bring it back. Would you bring it back? It'd be easier. It'd be easier to sell and get some money from. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, if you could bring some things back, that's some of the things that I bring back. Just, 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 just saying. You know what I mean? Um, that's really that's. I mean that that's really some of the things that I like. I said I wanted to just kind of chop up on, make sure we brought the show back and right. Um, so yeah, I thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for listening, for watching, or if you watch it later, y'all watch it later. You know what I'm saying? I thank y'all for watching it later. Uh, King Buddha should be back hopefully next week. We may have King Buddha also, um, Hell Mel. I think he'll be back next week too. So, uh, I'm looking at the bird right now. She, she got a towel stuck on her head and I'm like not about to even get it up. I'm just going to let her try to figure out how to get out of it from the towel. She tortures me. I'm going to torture her ass. And it's hilarious too, y'all. <laughs> In the studio, y'all already know. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll 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 had a whole crew. Should be back next week. So hopefully y'all tune in. You know, show is definitely improving, getting a lot better. We bring y'all a lot lot better video and audio. Uh, oh, and the shows for now on the shows will be on YouTube. So the shows will be on YouTube uh, starting now. Probably pretty pretty much by the next day. I'll have everything up on YouTube. The next day. So the shows will be up on YouTube the next day. Um, other than that, we're going to close this thing out, man. Um, I do want to throw a uh, Blast Report. So Blast Report. Um, I'm trying to think where have I gone. And I got some great service. Uh, we went to Roti uh, downtown on 13th Street. 13th and F. Service was good. First time I had roti, um, and it was pretty good. I actually I enjoyed it, so I throw them out there. I give them a shout out, you know, because that was the service was really good. So I can't complain about that. 
Um, there was an ice cream place. I can't remember the name, but I'm going to put it out there uh, on another show. But there was an ice cream place that my wife went to, um, and she said she didn't actually didn't have enough. Did they, No, they took they took cash, no cards, and she didn't have any cash on her. And so the owner actually gave her the ice cream for free and just said, yeah, just bring me back the, the money when you when you get the opportunity. So I thought that was dope. And it's a black-owned ice cream restaurant in Virginia. So I'm going I'm to actually do a live or, or something like that with them, with the owner personally, if I can get in touch with them. But I'll throw that on the Blast Report next week, the actual location, and, and I'll tell that story all over again. I ain't going to lie. But, yeah, um, that was that's that's what I got for the Blast Report. Um, we got, like I said, we got a, quite a few things coming up in the future. So uh, y'all make sure y'all tune in. Uh, just be on the lookout because I, I, I'm going to put everything out there and let y'all know what it is. Um, uh, toy coat drive, or, or it's going to be more so a coat slash clothing drive, and we will be donating the coats and clothes to a, either a shelter or an organization that will um, that needs them. So we're working on that coming up towards the end of the month. I think we're going to do that towards the end of the month, maybe beginning of November. So I'll let y'all know. Uh, once I get the final details on that, once me and Buddha kind of lock that in and get everything together on that one. So, yeah, just to let y'all know about that. Um, trying to think. We may, I don't know, we may do it. I'm going to try to see if I can talk to the owner of the bowling alley that we, I mean, excuse me, not bowling alley, the pool hall where we shot pool at. Um, ah, corner corner pocket. I want to say corner pocket. I think it was corner pocket. So, yeah, it's corner pocket. Uh, we may do it. I try to do it there. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to him and see what's going on, but be on the lookout for that. I really need y'all support, help and support on that. I really do. So if y'all could be on the lookout for that. Um, I know we've been gone for a while, so the listeners is kind of low, but hopefully, you know what I'm saying, we, we back. You'll see this. We back. So y'all tune in next week. It'll be a more fun-packed show once we, you know, I ain't talking to myself. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, we'll be back shortly. I mean, what not saying we'll be back shortly. We back, baby. Ain't no being back shortly. We back. So, yeah, we back. All right, y'all. This is the show that goes with you taking I am your host, Sharp Shot, the Jackie Moon of Radio. Um, I'm going to go out. We're going to take this thing out with uh, some young Mozzie again. I, like I said, that's my little brother. Uh, I love him. Love you to death. Rest in peace. Happy birthday to you. Said it's Libra season, so we're going to go out with some young Mozzie, man. And uh, hopefully y'all tune in next week, man. CIU Radio at gmail.com. That's the email. So if you got any um, music that you your, your, your cousin just did or your brother or your son or your baby mama's uncle or nephew or whatever, shoot us the music so we can play it in, inside the show. We're going to play it inside the show. And we're going to also get people's opinions on, you know, what they think of the music. So make sure y'all send us the music. Um, I think... Don, hold on. I think Don just made a comment. Let me just double check on that, y'all. Uh, I think Don just made the comment. But Don, we ending we ending the show, man. You ain't calling in, so if you'd have called in, I could have got your comment and we could have did that. But you ain't calling, so you know, sorry, Don. Unless I check it out right now. <laughs> All right, so uh, Buddha said next weekend we next week we bring the celebrity stripper. So yeah, y'all y'all we bring the celebrity stripper in. So I bet y'all tune in for that. Hey, for real, for real. Hey, Buddha, why you ain't calling in, man? But I guess you ain't want you ain't want nobody to hear you all sounding all pitiful like you just was a few minutes ago. I'm gonna call you after the show. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely call you after the show. Um, yeah, it's the next tail chirp. So when we was talking about the uh, bring what to bring back. Uh, he, Dom said, bring back the next tail chirp. Hey, now you want to call Dom. I'm about to end it. I'm going to end this right real quick. Um, but y'all make sure y'all tune in next week. Like I said, it'll either be Wednesday or Friday. I will let you know the details as soon as I find out. We may do a special. We just going to do a pop-up show. Just, I right, man, we're going to do pop-up shows. So just expect pop-up shows. We're going to do pop-up shows. We're just going to pop up on your asses and just do some, do some stuff. It could be anywhere, anytime, any place. But we're going to solidify the time and date for the regular show. All right, y'all? All right, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. All right? Um, you've been tuning in to the show that goes where you take it. CIU Radio at gmail.com. Uh, make sure y'all lock in that email. 
202-240-7453. Lock in the number for next week. Um, and, oh, yeah, the YouTube page is CIU Radio, all one word, C-I-U-R-A-D-I-O, just like this page. So be on the lookout for the YouTube page because um, I will have content on there shortly. I'll let y'all know as soon as this up. This show right here is up. All right? All right, y'all. We out. Peace. Hold up, pull up, won't serve you where I lay my head at, you dead, don't bring the bread back, my lifestyle got the fair mad, just made me want a bigger bag, I'm kicking pippin' at the jigger pack, got way more swag than Trinidad, I pop Zan when I'm feeling bad, I count band when I'm feeling bad, she doing it with no hand, bitch, it ain't feeling bad, young, 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 young rich, nigga, you can see the cash, they can see my eyes through the ski man. rolling on to put the trigger fast, I'ma bust your nigga on flash, on my feet the same outfit all week. Murder a nigga, they cover with sheep. It's nothing for me to delete. They pick me up, I will not speak.